Hey everybody, I want to do the lower yard video now, so let's go take a walk. We'll start this way this time. Over here we uh, planted the uh, our next succession of uh, beans inside there. That's going to be those uh, Monte Cristo string beans. And they're a pole bean, so they'll climb up, you know, up atop of this. So I put in some more compost down there and threw all that in there. And then back there, where we used to have the eggplants that the rabbit decided to eat. I took out the remnants of that and I put on all of our winter cabbage. So we've got cabbage going all the way around the back here, all the way over to the side. And then as the squash dies off, you know, this the summer squash starts to die off eventually, or I may thin it out because we have so much squash growing that I'm going to be taking our newest plants that I've got that we seeded last week inside the grow tent and put those in here, which are these Sisso broccoli. So this is all the broccoli. Put a little bit of wire mesh over the top so the birds don't come in here and pull out the, the new seedlings. I have a tendency to do that if I don't cover it now. There's those uh, bush beans that we planted last week. And then that's some broccoli there that I had started earlier just to test it. And then two extra ones. And of course the poinsettia you know, cutting. But these will be taken and planted over here in this box. So this box usually retains getting most of the sun up until our you know, winter solstice. It does still get some sun over here, so it'll keep those cabbage growing pretty good. Because we had cabbage in here last year, pretty much about in this area, and it overwintered really nice in this box. Let's see, let's go this way. So this is where I was talking about that uh, whiskey barrel used to be. It was kind of an odd spot, and it's kind of in an intercrossing where the sprinklers go. The blueberries were taking up most of the water that would get sprayed over this way and block it. So we're going to let the raspberries kind of just take over this area. You know, those, those little uh, shortcake raspberries, they're, they're thornless, and they only get to be about that tall, but they spread runners. It'll be nice there. And of course, we got some more tomatoes we need to harvest today. You can see there's quite a few starting to turn here, going up over the arch. wild cherry tomatoes and those were the Montesino F1s. And we got some more sunflowers that have opened up down here. And of course is our spaghetti squash. It's got the nice yellow tint to it. So we'll be able to harvest those in probably another couple weeks, the first ones, as they get that nice golden, that golden yellow color. And we'll have some of the uh, lasagna replacement. See, I don't think there's any more red tomatoes of the big ones because Paul and I came through here yesterday and just picked them all because we were having a barbecue. We wanted to show off our tomato prowess and let everybody experience the fresh tomatoes that you can't get in the stores that taste as good as they do here. <laughs> but we still left a lot of the little red ones. I mean, you can see there's tons of them back in there, all through here. Squash is starting to come out of the boxes. We got another load of yellow squash we got to come and take. There's probably some zucchini back there too. There's, there's some more zucchini back there forming. We had a little bit of milder temperatures. They were in the 90s this last week. We weren't getting up close to the hundreds because when you get to that really hot, hot weather, the zucchinis just they just stop producing. The flowers just don't come out. Looks like they're starting to come alive again with their wanting to produce. Let's see, here's some more big tomatoes over here. We haven't had any ripe ones off this one yet. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of them on this bush. These are the beefsteak type. This is one that actually came out of our compost bin, a tomato plant that I pulled out and put in here. So I have no idea what type this is. It could be just a regular old beef steak of some variety. Looks like the Scarlet Runner beans are doing nice. 
There's some more tomatoes. Gray griller. Looks like he's needs to be picked. He's starting to yellow and harden off. So might be using this one for a baking. Because I think I showed you guys that one on the video last week. There's a yellow squash down there somewhere. There's one. This is our golden delicious apple. Looks like the apples are looking really nice on here. Some there. Got a couple down. There's one there. A couple here. This is a three-year-old tree, by the way. Just to let you guys know. Looks like there's some more tomatoes there that need to be picked here. Coming up over the top. I like the idea of this hutch because the tomatoes just kind of go up and then they're going to come over the top. Makes it a nice little focal point. People walk around. One of our old neighbors came by here and they couldn't believe how much this backyard has transitioned since uh, I took over gardening. Lots of tomatoes here. And here's the, uh, the Punakira tomato, or tomatoes, cucumbers. There's actually some that are starting to turn yellow over here. I went ahead and left it on here for you guys to see. Where was it? There it is. They have a yellow tint to them. So they don't turn dark green like these cucumbers over here do. These are the gherkins. I took a bunch of these into a guy I work with. He likes to sit and munch on them when he's in his cubicle. He's from India. And he, uh, he didn't know what, you know, they don't have these usually. In his area, he's down in from southern India. And he was just like, he loved the taste of them. <laughs> you can see the beans are starting to go up through the apple tree here. Going up, running up here. These are the Monte Cristo beans. So we've got beans and cucumbers on this trellis. Just this trellis here is cucumbers. And this is the newest trellis that I put in yesterday. With some more of our bamboo that we grow here on the, uh, the urban homestead. This one's gonna be just string beans, which is the, the Monte Cristo beans. So we'll have beans here, beans here. We got beans all up through the bean hutches. So we should have quite a bit of beans to can this year. These are the ones that were sitting by the fire pit last weekend. I have to put up the guard here to keep the uh, little urban homestead wolves, or what we call our pugs, <laughs> from going and tearing through here and ripping them out. Of course, you do have to worry about the, the field mice. I found one of my plant starts ripped out this morning. And I saw a couple of field mice running around in our yard yesterday. Everything seems to be going pretty well. Marigolds. This new overhead watering system that we put in, you know, here and along the other sides of the areas really does seem to help keep everything hydrated. So we're getting quite a bit of production. I mean, you can see by just the tomato load we're getting. All those tomatoes right there. We're going to pick every one of the, the ripe ones today. I'll probably do another video for you guys to, to show you how much we actually get for tomatoes each week, which I take in my lunch and I like to eat as part of my snacks. I mean, there's nothing better than that. I watch what all the other guys are munching on and they're getting candy and all this other you know, stuff. And I sit there and I'll munch on my peas and my cucumbers and my tomatoes. My urban homestead lunch. So we harvested off the peaches. I'll show in the other, you'll see one of the video updates this week. So all the peaches are done on this tree. You can see there's a lot more yellow squash down here. Looks like we got one down there that's starting to rot, so we've got to pull him off. Didn't get a proper pollination. I don't know how. We've got so many bees flying around our yard now that it should get good pollination. You can see the tomatoes are starting to really use that uh, netting that I put in there. And it's helping. There's some bees, little guys. So that's the advantage of letting some of this cover crop grow is because see this is buckwheat and the bees they love that buckwheat and while they're here they're going to hop on over here to the, uh, the tomatoes and pollinate those while they're here so i always leave a little bit of my cover crop growing inside here in the boxes the hairy vetch the buckwheat like this over here 
Got the buckwheat, got some clover. Planted some more beans back here. We need to harvest our eggplants because we've got quite a few on these plants over here now. And then there's some more sunflowers. We've got quite a wide variety of uh, nature growing here. <laughs> oh, here's the, uh, the trash can potatoes. And see, now that they're getting to the, the size that I want, you can start to see that it's starting to hide the trash can effect. I've seen it. So we're starting, the slips are starting to grow over the sides. And by the end of the summer, the clover will have filled in here on this one, and then the slips will all be growing over the side. It'll be a nice little uh, focal point. You know, people will be like, what are you growing in there? They'll be like, oh, you know, 50 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> Here's our uh, gala apple. I ate one of the apples yesterday. I couldn't wait. It wasn't quite ready, but boy, it was good. Nice and sweet. And we got some more blueberries to harvest here today. You can see all down here. All ready to go. All the little birds are chirping away. There's the other trash can potato. Some blueberries we, or blackberries we need to harvest. Paula harvested off a bunch of these. I think she got a quart bag off of this one here, yes, uh, this last week. You can see there's tons of them set ready to, you know, ripen back there. There's some more there. Let's see, and we got our sunflowers here. Our grapes. Looks to be doing pretty well. some more blackberries on this one. This is our transplant blackberry. Even though it was a transplant, it's still got quite a bit of fruit set on here. All right, well, that's kind of the update for the uh, the lower yard. You just kind of want, watch them wander, listen to me ramble along. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.